So Eastside Pitbull Cruz not only won his first world title, he not only won his first fight at the super lightweight division, and not only went across Rolly Romero's head like a bottle of tequila, but Pitbull Cruz has now put himself in position to receive more opportunities and bigger fights at the stacked 140 pound division against the likes of Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, and Teofimo Lopez. Of course, if you're a Pitbull fan, you're clinging to the idea of a rematch with Tang Davis or Abdul Wahid, Muhammad Ali, you know, whatever he's calling himself. And as much as that rematch may have way more appeal and buzz surrounding it than it once did, especially with tweets like this floating around, I honestly wouldn't hold my breath on that one happening anytime soon. Reason being, we all know Tank vs Frank Martin has just been officially announced for June 22nd and even though the majority of us are expecting Davis to be victorious against Martin, Leonard Ellerby told reporters in a more recent interview with Fight Hub that Tank would not be having a rematch with the winner of the Cruz Romero bout. And since there's been no word on if Tank will be moving up to 140 for any future bouts, it's safe to say that Pitbull Cruz fans should indeed take a rain check. I personally would like to see Cruz step in there with some of the other boys anyway. And no, I don't mean a retired, unretired Shakur Stevenson, because until he's ready to move up, I think that guy should focus on the fighters in his division. I'm talking about possibly the winner of Haney Garcia. Shit. Even the loser would do at this point since everyone acts like Pitbull's style and size is this easy outing for everyone he faces. Because from where I'm sitting and from what I've seen with my own two eyes, that little motherfucker seems to be a headache for anyone he faces. I mean think about it, Pitbull's last four bouts were against Tank, Gamboa, Corbera, Roly, and none of them had their way with the guy. Tank is the only one who seemed to know what he was doing in there with him and even Tank had to grind it out after facing the adversity of injuring his hand due to Cruz's defense and big ass head. Cabrera kept him at bay but that was the only thing he could really do and the two Cubans realized quickly that they were tuning in the hits from a different pit bull than they might have been used to. Now stylistically, boxing savants everywhere will try to break down what Cruz would look like against a Garcia or Haney, but the truth is, we won't actually know until they get inside the ring with him. So even if you feel he's too reckless not to be countered by Ryan or picked apart against Deb, just the thought of how he would fare against those guys makes it interesting. Then of course, there's the more realistic matchups like the one I would prefer with the self-proclaimed boogeyman, Sabriel Matias. A matchup between Matias and Cruz could possibly be a fan favorite in my opinion being that both are aggressive fighters who like to come forward. The fact that it could very well jumpstart another Mexican Puerto Rican rivalry is almost inevitable. I mean it's so inevitable that the Zone's promoter Eddie Hearn has went on the record to say that he is open to working with PBC once again for that matchup. You can't tell me that's not a blockbuster outside of a bout with Ishmael Barroso, the man that many believe was robbed against Rolly Romero for the same title Cruz just beat him for, which already makes for a story between those two. Either way, Pitbull's grand arrival at 140 has him rubbing elbows with some of the other players at that division, and if he can sustain his success, he may just become an even bigger superstar than we anticipated him to be. Pop off!